there's a property in Jenner that does that. You can rent from their record library. So all the rooms have record players and then you come down to reception and part of their like main lodge hall is like this record library. You just take it. Um, it's all, it's a very easy, like kind of thing as talking about the personalization or just cause that like your reservation team can just ask the question. They're like, Oh, I noticed you're in the car. Like what, what, who are you listening to right now? Right. And then just like tuck that into the back of that reservation. No, I mean, it's just like so much about guest experience, not that other people haven't made this link, but it's like, you really just have to be good at sales or really good at the people that are good at sales are good at listening. Right. And then like the people that are good at hospitality are good at listening. I mean, it all comes down to just like finding a way to like procure that information out of someone. And like, if you can get music preferences like that, you just, you just opened up enough to really make a memorable stay. Is, is there anything you've done or you've seen people do specifically to tease that out of people without them knowing? Not not specifically music, but just generally kind of things that you can surprise and delight them with. Well, I just think that for every guest reservation, you should you should know why they're why they're coming into town, and that's not intuitive as much as it is for us because we're thinking about this. Like when I first started, I didn't really care what, why because I knew when they would get here, we were going to take care of them, right? So like my brain doesn't even focus on that per se. Um, but like you should definitely always know why you're getting into town, and it's like oh, I'm coming into town for a football match okay well then who's playing and it's like oh it's where it's it's college and my nephew is like it's duke versus north Carolina. you know what i'm saying it's just like you can get so much personal information out of just like the why and then from that asking additional questions of like oh you love and i was saying football for you european you know soccer you love so- that oh, was thank just you. Nick. Thank- yeah, no 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 yeah, football, about football, let's do football. <laughs> um, no so that was only for nick um but yeah but you get to learn a lot by just asking why are you coming into town and if they give you a little nugget there then you keep exploring and you keep trying to procure that yeah and I, i'm sure you've read this book uh jacob but for the audience there's a book called uh, unreasonable hospitality by will guadara Guid- Guid- is that how you say it i don't know um who's you know a, 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 a restaurant manager of a you know really well regarded restaurant in new york formerly anyway um and and the kind of core principle behind that is as as jacob just said is is listen and then react accordingly and kind of surprise and delight the guests just by showing that you've listened and, and creating special experiences so you know an example would be he overheard someone at a table saying oh they've loved their stay in new york but the one thing they wish they had is a is a hot dog or something and um you know 10 minutes later the the server brings a gourmet hot dog to them and it's kind of that's completely surprised and delighted the guest and um kind of is magical i was walking through the dining room last week uh two weeks ago because it's fourth of july week and then this like the kid had to be like 10 and his brother may have been seven and just like you know i i like kids i have a big family like so um but he asked the server if they could have gatorade he's like i know this is a silly question but do you have Gatorade? And guarantee that server never have had that question asked of them for like a meal choice. And they're like, no, I'm sorry, we don't. And I knew we had Gatorade in the deli case at the cafe. I booked it downstairs and I like got this kid a Gatorade and it made his whole week. I mean, just like that Gatorade at dinner. But I remember being like a young kid like that where like simple things could like blow your mind. And the fact that we could procure a Gatorade for this this kid at dinner was like, He'll probably like remember that all week. So that was super special. But that goes back to the listening. Like wherever you're walking, like if you hear something interesting, just stop and like take a beat. There is nothing so urgent unless it's a guest emergency where you can't like just take a second to remember that.